Hi, welcome everyone. In this video, we are going to be graphing exponential growth and decay functions. Now, the method we're going to choose is make a table. Now, this first graph, we have exponential growth. How do I know we have growth? Because the number inside, we have inside of the parentheses, we have y equals a times b to the x power. When b is larger than 1, you have growth. Okay, we are going to make a table. So I'm going to pick x values, plug them in, and we're going to get values for y. All right, now, what if I were to just choose the most common numbers? Negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, and 2. If I were to plug in negative 2, 2 to the negative 2 power, that means 1 over 2 squared, so 2 squared is 4, so 1 fourth. 3 times 1 fourth gives you 3 fourths, which 3 fourths is um, 0 0.75. Okay, as a decimal value. We could have written it as 3 fourths or as the decimal. Does not matter which. Now what if I plugged in negative 1? 2 to the negative 1 power is 1 half. 1 half times 3 is 3 halves, which makes 1 and a half. What if I plugged in 0? 2 to the 0 power is 1. 3 times 1 makes 3. And then 1... 2 to the first power is 2, 3 times 2 is 6, and then last, let's plug in 2, 2 to the second power is 4, 3 times 4 is 12. Now, at negative 2, 3 fourths is almost up to 1, but it isn't quite. Right there, a little over half, but less than... 1. At negative 1, we're at 1 and a half. Right there. At 0, we are up at 3, so 1, 2, 3. And then at 1, it's way up at 6, so there's 4, 5, and up to 6 would be about here. Now, this is never going to get negative, these y values. Why? Because this fraction is going to just keep getting closer and closer to 0. So it rides along the x-axis and it curves and goes up. Double-ended arrow. That is an exponential growth graph. Now, Let's do our decay graph. We have y equals 3 times 1 half to the x power. All right, I picked these two on purpose so you could see some similarities and differences with these two graphs. Okay, now what if I were to plug in the same values? Negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, and 2. If I were to plug in negative 2, 1 half to the negative 2 power, it's the reciprocal, so this would become 4, 3 times 4 makes 12. See a similarity here? Oh, maybe. Well, let's see. What if I plugged in negative 1? 1 half to the negative 1 power is the reciprocal of 1 half, which is just 2. Then 3 times 2 is 6. Now plugging in 0, anything to the 0 power is 1, 3 times 1 is 3. Now what if I were to plug in positive 1? 1 half to the first power is 1 half, times 3 gives you 3 halves, as a decimal is 1.5. See in similarities with this table, and 
this previous table? Yeah, it's the same thing in backwards order. Why? Because with the negative, uh, with this being the reciprocal of the two, they're going to be backwards of each other. So if I plug in 2, I am going to get 0 0.5. Um, excuse me. I am going to get 0 0.75. In other words, 3 fourths. So this decay graph, how do I know it's decay? This is a 1 half. It's in position B is less than 1. This is going to be the exact opposite. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 would be about here. Okay. Negative 2, 6. Then negative, oh, I'm sorry, negative 2 is at 12. We couldn't plot that. It's negative 1 is at 6. So, let me erase that. And now, negative 1, there's 4, 5, 6. Negative 1 is at 6. 0 is at 3. 1, we're up at 1 and a half. And then at 2, we are at 3 fourths. Okay, so this one, it starts up really tall. I can't draw today. Let's see, it starts way up here. Connect, curves, and it flatlines right along the x-axis. It does not cross the x-axis. Why? Because no matter what I put in for x, I'm not going to get negative values for y. Okay, so enjoy graphing these. Not as bad as they look. Um, now, domain and range. A domain for both of these, growth or decay, all real numbers. But range, well, for both of these, y is going to be greater than or equal to 0. So, domain, all real numbers. So, this is one way of writing it. X is an element of the reals. Okay? All real numbers. Range. Y is greater than or equal to. Not equal to. We're never going to get a zero. It's just greater than zero. So let me erase my equal to. Sorry about that. Yeah, because there's nothing that's going to give us zero or any negatives. All right, because this is just going to keep getting closer and closer to the x-axis as I go to the right, or this one as I go to the left, it's going to get closer to the x-axis. All right, enjoy these. They're not as bad as they look, but they can be a little tricky, but not bad. All right, have a good one.